Let's get it. of Coffee Chats by Cup of Troy, mm -hmm. and I'm here with... Clarence the Kid. Okay, it's been a few months since the movement popped off, since I couldn't log off, hypnotized by everybody, steady shitting on cows. So, <laughs> I'll show you, I'll show you how to make some stuff, and then um, you can try, okay? Word. All right, for sure. So you just dropped a project. Okay, curious, now curious now too. Can you like give the audience a little breakdown of like what you want it to be about, or like what its message was? You know, it's it's a sequel project. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? It's a continuation of Can You Hear Us Now One, which dropped in uh, June, I believe. Right. And so, Can You Hear Us Now in itself is a statement, kind of uh, directly referencing like all the Black Lives Matter movements and the protests and people getting vocal in their communities right. um, and basically speaking up to authority, policing, strategies and things like that, saying like, can you hear our voices now? We've been silenced mm -hmm. for so long um, and hear our stories. And so yeah. I guess the main point of that was kind of taking it away from the media standpoint. You know, a lot of people get caught up in, in with the news stories or, or the clips or of, of videos on Twitter and everything like that is. Yeah. I want to actually get the raw, authentic stories of protesters, mm -hmm. um, tied in with my own experiences, my own poetry, my own artwork. Right. And kind of put it out as a continuation part. I, th I think we talked about this, like, the last time we were hanging out. Uh, yeah. You said, like, you find it hard to write songs that, like, don't mean anything. <laughs> like, <laughs> Unfortunately. What, what was, like, the, the last time you wrote, like, an ignorant song? Or, like, Ooh. or do you think, like, just not in your blood? Yeah. Um, last time, I mean, I write them. Mm -hmm. You know, don't get me wrong. I just don't think they're... Their hits to me. And also, I just, I don't know. I just don't feel like I'm cool. You know yeah. I feel like if you want to make an ignorant song or like yeah, a whatever, it doesn't matter. If you like feel some type of way you, about you yourself. You want to feel cool about yourself. Like, yeah. oh, okay. But when I make those songs, like, I'm hesitant to show the homies, you know. But. Yeah, I see. So do you usually like write out all your stuff first or do you like have to listen to, like, do you write your song separate from the beat or do you have to hear the beat first and then write to that? Because I know like a lot of people, their process is different. So. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, it's give and take both ways. I think mm -hmm. usually... It starts with the YouTube type beat, or just like lo-fi hip-hop channels. I love writing to lo-fi. <laughs> yeah. Um, just to get the ideas out, turn them out. Yeah. Um, every once in a while, I'll write a song from scratch and like envision the beat in my head mm -hmm. as I'm writing it down, and then I'll go back and produce it later. Right. Um, but yeah, it all kind of depends on the song, the mood, the vibe. For sure. So I know in terms of like performances, I know last year you were at Gear Fest. Yes, sir. Like, what, what was the favorite, your favorite show that you've ever done? Probably Gearfest. Really? <laughs> um, either Gearfest, because um, yeah. that was just like, I don't know, after being at USC for a few years mm -hmm. and sharing my music with friends and, and you know, uh, faculty members and things like that, to actually have an opportunity to perform it in front of like that same population, right. that was super tight to me. Um, but I think the other most noteworthy performance um, in my mind that I've done was at a protest in L.A., um, in Culver City. It was crazy because I never thought I would perform, you know, within the yeah. next year and a half, two years or so because of the pandemic. But they invited me out there, heard Can You Hear Us Now, the original mm -hmm. project. They said, we'd love you to uh, perform these songs and, and speak up on your experiences. Yeah. So that was super dope to like also have that audience who was there 
um, resonating with the message and, and really just taking it all in. Yeah, that setting seems like very fitting also oh, 100%. Like for like your type of vibe. 100%. Mm -hmm. Like who do you think is like your dream like feature or like who, what artist would you want to work with that's like in line with who you are and like the kind of music you make? The music that I make right now yeah, yeah, yeah. is only the way that it is because of my situation, because of the access that I have. Mm -hmm. Ideally, I want to work with a lot of live musicians. Right. So a collaboration with like a Thundercat would be yeah. tight. Um, I've always loved Ty Dolla Sign's ability. Hitmaker. Every single <laughs> Classic song. every time. <laughs> so um, those are two definitely on my list for sure. Yeah. Uh, but as far as rappers go, I'd love to make something with like uh, Coda, Coda mm -hmm. the Friend. Yeah. Or, um, you know, maybe a Smino or something like that. I don't know. What can people expect from you within this year like what do you want to have done by the end of 2021 man end of 2021 it's really going to be a building year for sure mm -hmm. um you know a couple a couple little short songs and music videos and, mm -hmm. and things like that i just got done with my uh can you hear us now two album release run yeah that video was say. was so sick like thank the you, shot of you, you like the right the asap rocky videos of like the circular one oh like, yeah, 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 yeah the the 360 yeah yeah i love those that are crazy those yeah. are crazy <laughs> um but yeah, after that, you know, we got a couple in the vault. Um, but really, we're going to come back hard 2022 with Facts. all the stuff we've been cooking up, you know, last yeah. year, this year, and everything like that. So, For sure. A lot of big things coming. Well, thank you so much for the drink, and thank you so much for thank coming Thank you for out, the bro. drink, man. I know, I'm like a barista now. I can I pull up to any <laughs> coffee shop and say, hire me on the spot. I got tot right yeah. here, a cup of Troy. Fuck yeah. I'm good to go. We'll catch you guys later next episode.